in making the Stations of the Cross, we accompany Jesus on his last journey. He has just experienced the intense suffering and loneliness of Gethsemane and the humiliation and rejection of his trial. He has been denied by Peter and abandoned by his disciples. He has been beaten to within an inch of his life and is now condemned to carry his cross to the place of his execution. Lord Jesus, this is a lonely journey for you. Allow me to accompany you as you go. On the way, teach me how to love you with all my being and fill me with love for all mankind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. How easy for Pilate to wash his hands and say, I am innocent of the blood of this man. And how many Pilates wash their hands of you as you stand before firing squads in gas chambers, in prison camps, as you disappear never to be seen again, as you are reduced to being a choice or a burden on society, as you are stigmatized by public opinion. Lord, we do not wash our hands of you with water anymore, but with indifference, Jesus, please do not let me turn from you or walk away when I see you condemned. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross.
Jesus went out bearing his cross to the place called Place of the Skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. They hurry to get rid of you. They lift the heavy cross and drop it on the raw flesh of your shoulder. This emblem of ignominy, which will forever be the sign of your victory, your holy cross, through which you have redeemed the world. Jesus, take away my fear of the cross. Help me to embrace it. Through your cross, turn the weakness and misery of my suffering into power and strength. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. By the word of your holy cross, Lord Jesus, strengthen me. By the sorrow of your blessed mother, Lord Jesus, comfort me. By your dying and by your rising, give me new The third station, Jesus falls the first time. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. You are surrounded by people, men shouting, women weeping. The next thing you know, you are on the ground. A few days ago, people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Now they cry, crucify him, crucify him. Lord Jesus, in my life of sin, I have moved easily from Hosanna to crucify him. Please forgive me. Help me always to get up again, to find forgiveness and healing in the wood of your cross. Jesus, comfort me. 
The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Simeon said to Mary, This child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also. Suddenly you see her. What memories crowd your mind? Bethlehem, Egypt, Nazareth, the temple, Joseph, the meal times, the prayers, her graciousness to everyone, the wedding in Cana, the look of wonderment she always gave you, and now here she stands before you, her heart pierced with sorrow as Simeon had foretold. Even now, you keep her hidden. Only a few know who she really is. But she knows. And she knows what she is soon to become. The mother of your new body, the church. You draw strength from her gaze of love and the fleeting touch of her hand on yours. And then you are gone. Jesus, I thank you that your mother is now my mother too. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Simon was a good man, you could see that, but he is afraid. You observe the shocked expression on his face as he looks at you, and even when he lifts the cross, he cannot take his eyes off you, as though this gaze made him forget everything else. Lord, how often 
you come to me burdened by your cross and even though I know I should help you, I do nothing. Jesus, help me to see you in everyone. Allow me to help you. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty to attract us. He was despised and rejected by men, as one from whom men hide their faces. You know Veronica. She is every woman who ever became your faithful disciple. She is the one who always knows what to do quiet and boundless in generosity. She cannot comprehend what is happening to you, and she hardly recognizes you through the blood and dirt and thorns. In a moment it is over. Afterwards she will see the imprint of your face on the towel, but it will not compare with the imprint you left on her heart. Lord Jesus, change me, transform me. May people see in me the living image of yourself. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, hear Give me new life. 
the seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, this hour might pass from him. Once again you fall. The mystery is that you are able to stand at all. You look so vulnerable now. Even the soldier seems to pity you as he lifts the cross and helps you to your feet. Where do you get the strength? In my sins, I never think of you. I am always too busy making excuses for myself while you are crushed by the weight of my wrongdoing. Jesus, help me to see beyond the deceitful evil that is in the world, that I may live by your truth alone. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, hear The eighth station, Jesus comforts the women of Jerusalem. And there followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. They all know you, Martha and Mary, Magdalene in tears, shattered, the woman from Nain. It is all so unbelievable to them, and their grief is uncontrollable. They see your suffering, and you see what is soon to be their own suffering. Weep not for me, you say. 
but for yourselves and your children. How strange, Lord, that you have so many adversaries among the men, but none among the women. Lord, give me the love and fidelity of these women. And when I have to suffer for you, may I always remember what you suffered for me. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Again it happens. It seems you will never be able to get up. Once more they help you, this time with violence, the air thick with shouting and blasphemy as they curse you and rush you forward to that place of the skull. You are nearing the end of your horrific journey. Lord, never let me give up, no matter what. Help me to keep going, to keep repenting of my sins, to keep coming back to you. In my weakness, I need your strength. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal. Jesus, strengthen me.
The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. They divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. The robe sticks to your back as they pull it from you. In the psalm which you prayed on the cross, you were described as a worm and not a man. You have emptied yourself. Everything is taken from you now. You are left with nothing. How different from me, Lord. I have so much. So often I have seen you stripped in the poor, the homeless, the starving, the refugee, and I never put my hand in my pocket to give you even a penny. Help me, Jesus, to empty myself Strip me of all selfishness. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. It was the third hour when they crucified him, and the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. I hear the clink of metal upon metal, but I cannot look as the spikes are driven through your sacred limbs. And still you open not your mouth. These nails will be your bed for the next three hours as you are lifted up between heaven and earth. But even now you are able to forgive your enemies and pardon the sin of a poor insignificant thief. Lord Jesus, is sin really so evil in the sight of God 
that you should pay such a price. Oh, please help me to think of you, to look at you, so that I may never offend you again. And may I too be fixed with you to the saving wood of your cross. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, Drink of it all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I shall not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Even on the cross, you are more concerned with others than yourself. To the good thief you say, this day you will be with me in paradise. You look at your mother Mary and say, Behold your son. Then to John, Behold your mother. You have prepared her for this moment. No longer is she the mother of your physical being only. Now you have made her the mother of every member of your body, the Church. From now on, she is the mother of us all, and we are her children. In the presence of the new Eve, you crush the head of the serpent, and our salvation is accomplished. I adore you, O Christ, and I bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed me from sin. By the wounds of your sacred passion, Lord Jesus, heal me. Blessed Mother, 
The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. There is darkness now. Your dying word, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit hangs on the still heavy air. They come and take you down and she holds you once again the way that only a mother can hold her child. Be it done unto me included this too. Somehow, for all of us, she is able to say yes to all of this, to say amen to each last word from your lips. Her bosom is the redeemed earth into which the grain of your dead body has fallen to bring forth untold fruitfulness. A mother never abandons her child. You did not abandon Jesus, and I know you will not abandon me. Teach me, O oh sorrowful mother, to love Jesus as you did, and to be willing to lay down my life for him. Fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb.
When Pilate learned from the centurion that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. And he brought a linen shroud and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Your death is a real death. In it we see the depth of God's love for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. It is a love that will never die. Your body is laid to rest and the stone is rolled into place. Before Passover begins, everyone departs. But this is not the end, it is only the beginning. For you will rise again, you will burst forth from the tomb on that glorious Easter morning to a new and resurrected life. In baptism, you have raised me from death and given me new life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing me to share this walk with you. May I always know the power of your cross, and may I never fail to recognize you wherever I meet you on the road of life. intentions of our Holy Father the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, sorrowful mother, let me go with you from this holy place where lies your Son, the Son of God. From this cross, stained with his precious blood, forever now the holy cross, the sign of our salvation. From where they stripped him and nailed him to the wood, from where the women met him, and where Veronica stood, from where your heart was pierced when you saw him on the way, a loving gaze expressing all you had to say. Let us go now from this long night, and wait 
for that glorious dawn when they will say, He is not here, He is risen. Let us listen to these words of Peter found in the Acts of the Apostles. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses God had already chosen, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Oh